The Russians have sent warheads to Cuba. If that ship crosses the line, we will retaliate with a full response. We need your help to stop them. So we're supposed to be the CIA's new mutant division. Hey guys, I'm Justin Z. And I'm Wally. And we are here from Mahalo Design to give you an exclusive review of the brand new X-Men First Class trailer. Now normally we don't come back to trailers on the same subject. Justin and I covered the American vs. Russian trailers in a previous video. And we were going to leave it at that. But we feel this new trailer is such a dramatic step up from what we've seen before that we just had to review it. So, like every other trailer review before it, we're going to start from beginning to end, and we're going to look at certain beats, we're going to pause, and we're going to talk about what we see, and give a general review and analysis of what we thought of both the trailer itself and of the footage we see for the upcoming movie. Here we go. So, for the first, I'd say, 10 to 15 seconds of this trailer... It's virtually identical. It is almost exactly identical. The only difference is they don't mention their names. Yeah. Sort of a streamlined version of the teaser, uh, which, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I love this line, by the way. He says, What do you know about me? Everything. Ah, it's, it's just so... They've got these characters down so well. You can tell in the trailers that uh, they've done their research and, and they have this relationship down, which is key for this whole movie. If this relationship isn't perfect then the whole movie falls under the weight of the ridiculousness that the X-Men kind of are. Now, that's some of the uh, better uh, establishing and outside shots of the X-Mansion we've been able to see up to this point in time. They really captured uh, the essence of the original mansion that they shot the first trilogy in. Um, from what I understand, this isn't the same one, but you could have fooled me. Now this is where the trailer really starts to differ as we get a lot of real footage of the Cuban Missile Crisis in the Cold War Russian-American conflict. This definitely looks like somewhere in Moscow, and that's definitely a war room in America talking about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Very, very Dr. Strangelove, which is neat to see, a little visual homage to one of the classic Cold War films. Yeah, definitely. Now that we're seeing this room in context, we've seen this room before. It had fire up on all the walls and uh, definitely dark and dreary. Uh, it now seems to be that this is the danger room. This is the first sort of prototype of the training room for the mutants to use their powers and get good at them. This is fantastic. This scene right here of Magneto, of Eric, just going all out. This is something we've not seen before uh, in yeah. any of the X-Men movies. Ian McKellen is awesome. He did some really badass things in all of them, particularly X-Men 3. But this shot right here of a youthful, focused, enraged Magneto uh, is the coolest thing in the world. Now, there was an interesting line that we heard earlier. Um, while Emma was in a prison, we hear the guy say that mutants don't have the same rights as humans, basically. And that is important because in the previous trailers, we have not had an inkling of thought or, or a message about the social uh, aspects of mutants. And generally, we were thought that the, uh, the mutant problem, as the humans like to say in the previous X-Men films, um, is, was not going to be a major factor in this movie. And now we see that it still is. That's another great line where he says, we have the opportunity to become better men, and, and uh, Magneto says, we already are. There is nothing that can be written, said, or shown that epitomizes uh, just the very ideal of the entire X-Men universe than that line, that scene right there. That is, that's as good as it gets. That is all it is. And the fact that not only is it in the movie, delivered well by great actors, and is prominently shown in the trailer. It's not the first time we've seen that either. They've brought it out before. Uh, just really instills in me the hope that these filmmakers got it right. Michael Ironside is in this movie. Look at that. Michael, everyone, everyone, everyone see this? Everyone around? Michael Ironside is in this movie. I didn't know Michael Ironside was in it. This shocked me. Honestly, full disclosure, we are doing this review right now because I am dumbfounded that Michael Ironside is in this movie. And it's the greatest thing ever. This movie just went from a 10 to an 11 on a scale of 5. Now, this is a great money shot right here. A nice wide shot of uh, Professor Xavier, Banshee, Havoc, Magneto, and Mystique all standing in line looking heroic. The individual customization of each outfit to the uh, personalities of these mutant characters and their homages to classic costumes is just perfect. This is the best of both worlds when they 
originally didn't want crazy spandex costumes on the X-Men back in X-Men 1. This is perfect. Now, this is the very first time we are seeing Michael Fassbender talk in the Magneto helmet. This, we now know the size. There's no, oh my God, is it Photoshop? We don't know, oh, is he never going to wear the silver helmet? We just think that's the shot they want to use in the trailer, blah, blah, blah. No, this is it. There it is. The size looks right. It doesn't seem funky looking. He commands respect when he's wearing it. I am impressed. And then finally, we've seen this before, but it's still wonderful to see as always. Magneto in full bad guy costume. And then a quick uh, extreme close-up of Magneto as he says, peace was never an option. Yeah, no, just the way the helmet sits in the face and the eyes and the, the way the shot is constructed, it's just so it's the dreams of x-men fans to see stuff like this so obviously you're super excited about this 10 what, yeah what did you think about the trailer itself uh the trailer itself is the best trailer i've seen uh thus far the final american trailer was released at the same time as this your this international trailer and i was actually unimpressed with it there was some really cool money shot that I hadn't seen before, and they were cool to see, but the trailer felt like they took the teaser here in America and just tweaked it and threw a bunch of stuff at the end, and it didn't have any flow. This has flow. It feels right. It gives me more in exciting new stuff, but without seemingly giving anything away, because I still have so many unanswered questions, and uh, oh, it's just epic is the only word. Yeah, it was definitely a very... Uh, it definitely had a trailer that finally... Um gave us the sense of scope that we've been looking for in the X-Men movies. And uh, the uh, first teaser definitely gave us a little bit of scope with the uh, picking up of the submarine, but this one just took it to the ne next level, or the next three levels, and really showed us what we can look forward to. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed our review of this trailer. If you have any other trailers you would like us to review, whether it be trailers that are official or your own trailer, be it for an independent movie, or a fan-made trailer, please send me an email to requests at mahalo.com, and I'll be happy to review it. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to our videos.